Hello there and good afternoon. All I can surmise from this current Brexit debacle is that Theresa May is in a panic to get her deal and her deal alone in place at all costs and any cost. And that is exactly why she is so desperate to get an Article 50 extension. Without an extension, it is legislatively impossible to get the requisite Act of Parliament in place before the 11pm 29th of March deadline that would allow her to ratify her deal. In fact, if truth be told, that boat probably sailed last November. Reports suggest that yesterday Theresa May was initially after a nine-month Brexit extension. This would have given her the time to try and realistically battle the absolutely critical to her plans EU Withdrawal Agreement Bill through to Royal Assent. She could then have gone to Brussels and ratified her Withdrawal Agreement Treaty. Now the realistic minimum amount of time she would need for her Withdrawal Agreement plans would be a six-month Brexit extension, but even that would be pushing it. But after pressure from the Brexiteers in her party, she has caved in to warnings of the severe repercussions for the Tories if she goes for any extension, let alone one that forces EU MEP elections on the voters. As a result, she is now only asking for a short three-month delay. But all a three-month extension will do is delay the decision to go WTO for those three months it will resolve nothing. Because even if Theresa May got her deal through the House of Commons and got her three months extra, she still has to get this new withdrawal agreement bill through Parliament and onto the law books before she can actually ratify her deal and make it binding. Now, this withdrawal agreement bill has yet to be published and is unlikely to be until after MPs have voted for her deal. But when it is published, the contents of the Withdrawal Agreement Bill will probably cause Brexiteers to recoil in horror, as it will have to place firmly into UK statute law that EU law has precedence over UK law for as long as the Irish border backstop issue remains unresolved in the eyes of the EU and ECJ. And further, it will be part of a treaty and therefore subject to international law. People would then realise that they'd been duped by a government that wants to replace our current EU treaties with an EU colony status treaty. That would cause huge disquiet amongst all but the most dedicated Europhiles, not just in Westminster, but also across the country. That is why this bill would take so long and be so hard to get to the stage of being a full-blown Act of Parliament, if in fact it ever could. As a result, we would see the whole Brexit debates, arguments and divisions just continuing needlessly. This withdrawal agreement must be put out of its misery and fast, along with any talk of meaningless Article 50 extensions, long or short. The really good news for Brexiteers, though, is that Theresa May has once again ruled out revoking the Article 50 letter and reversing Brexit altogether, with her official spokesman saying that this is not something she is prepared to countenance. So that means for today, I take it. And The Telegraph reports that Brexiteer Tory MPs have been working covertly behind the scenes to try and persuade some EU 27 member state leaders to veto any Article 50 extension, so forcing a UK exit on schedule in nine days' time. On this I expect to hear cries of foul from the Remainers, of course. You know, those Remainers who have been busying themselves travelling to Brussels, trying to give away the national silverware for the last four decades or so, and especially hard in the last two years. But I'll end with my usual mantra. The default legal position that the UK leaves the EU at 11pm on the 29th of March 2019 still stands. Anyway, what do you think? Please leave a comment below and thank you for watching.